Do you want to learn how to crochet the Sunset Boho Maxi Shawl? Hi guys, here is Julie and welcome back to my channel. The inspiration for my shawl was this beautiful sunset on December 25th. I had so much fun in making this shawl so I hope you like it too. So please like, subscribe and ring the bell so to make this shawl I'm going to use this bubble here uh, this bubble it's um, acrylic yarn it has 1500 meters um, and it's from Meshworks Traumbole um, in addition to the yarn, I'm also going to need a, a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. So you are also going to need scissors and yarn needle to weave in your loose ends. Um, and the yarn that I'm using is um, category two. It's four strands. There are four very thin strands okay so it's perfect to make shawls okay so let's get started okay so to make this shawl we are going to start right here in the middle with a magic ring so take your yarn and your hook and make a magic ring pull up a loop and now you are going to chain three this is going to be your first double crochet and now we are going to work inside of the magic ring for double crochets so one two three and four now we are going to chain two so this is going to be the the pointy part of the shawl and now on the other side so in the magic ring we are going to make five more double crochets one two three four and five and now close your magic ring and um, throughout this pattern the chain three is going to count as a double crochet so chain three turn your work and in the same stitch we are going to make two more double crochets so this is a row and now make one double crochet in each double crochet till you reach your two chain space and now we are going to increase so we are going to be increasing on the sides of the shawl and also in the middle so this pointy part right here so in this two chain space we are going to make two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all worked in the same two chain space now work one double crochet in each double crochet till you have one stitch left and in your last stitch so on top of your three chain a uh, third chain you are going to increase again so we've started with a three double crochets all worked in the same um, stitch so you are going to make three double crochets in your last chain okay 
Now for row 3, we are going to chain 3 and we are going to turn your work to double crochets in the same stitch and now you are going to work the same as the previous row so one double crochet in each double crochet and increase in the middle and then work the same on the other side okay so i'll meet you back for row four okay row four chain three turn your work two double crochets in the same stitch and now we are going to make front post double crochets so yarn over and to make a front post double crochet you are going to grab your double crochet from the previous row like so and go and work around the post so from you are going from the front to the back and then grabbing your post like so and work your front post double crochet and again repeat in each double crochet from the previous row now for this shawl you are going to have a right and a wrong side so right now we are on the wrong side of the work just to clear this now okay and now you reached your two chain space in your two chain space you are going to increase by making two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all in the same two chain space and now yarn over and you are going to start again with your front post double crochets like so so work like this till the end of the row and when you have um, when you have one stitch left you are going to make your three double crochets in your last stitch okay row five chain three turn your work two more double crochets in the same stitch and now we are on the right side of the work so for this we are going to make back post double crochets so for this you are going to go from behind of your work and work around the post oops and make your back post double crochet so work like this in each double crochet from the previous row and then once you reach your two chain space you are going to increase by making two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets all in the same two chain space and then continue on the other side with your back post double crochets and in the last stitch you are going to make three double crochets okay now row uh, six you are going to chain four this counts as a double crochet and as a one chain space in between turn your work yarn over and make one double crochet in the same stitch chain one skip one double crochet in the next chain one skip one double crochet in the next and this is how we are going to work till we reach the pointy part of the shawl okay so here is going to be your last double crochet right here now you are going to chain one and in your 
two chain space make one double crochet chain two and another double crochet in the same two chain space now chain one and double crochet in the next stitch chain one skip one double crochet in the next and work like this till you have one stitch left so I'm going to work with you till the end of the row And now in the last stitch so you're going to chain one yarn over and on top of your third chain you are going to make one double crochet chain one and another double crochet in the same stitch like so so this is the right side of the work and this is the wrong side of the work okay now row seven so you are going to chain three and two double crochets in the same stitch now we are going to repeat this row here so row two and row uh, or row three so we are going to make one double crochet in each stitch so around your one chain space on top of the double crochet in your one chain space top of the double crochet okay so one double crochet in each stitch in the middle you are going to increase by making two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets and then work on the other side okay so i'll meet you back for row um, eight okay now row eight you are going to chain three turn your work two double crochets in the same stitch so you are always going to begin with three double crochet and going to end up with a three double crochets except um, for this row here so you are going to start with a chain so four, chain four. Um, it's a double crochet and the one chain space and you are also going to end up with um, your chain and your double crochet okay now row eight it's going to be a repeat of this row here so your um, front post double crochets so this one here it's going to be your row eight Oh, front post excuse me so work around that post and once you've reached the middle of the shawl you are going to make your increases okay so I'll meet you back for row 9 okay <clears throat> now row 9 it's going to be a repeat of row 5 so you are stepping up with your chain three two double crochets in the same stitch and now you are going to repeat your row five which means you are going to make back post double crochets all the way across till the end of the row don't forget to make your increases so you are going to repeat row five okay now um, the next row is um, row 10 so we are now here we've made all these nine rows here now we are going to make one row of double crochet so of course you are going to chain three and make your increases at the beginning at the end and also in the middle of the shawl 
and you are just going to work one double crochet in each double crochet and then I'll meet you back for row 11 okay now for row 11 you are going to chain 4 so this counts as a double crochet and a one chain space in between and row 11 it's basically a repeat of row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of row 6 so double crochet in the same stitch chain 1, skip 1, double crochet in the next chain 1, skip 1, double crochet in the next and remember to make your increases right here in the middle one double crochet chain to one double crochet okay and then I'll meet you back for row 12 okay and now the next row it's going to be a um, double stitch row so row 12 so for this you are going to chain one turn your work single crochet in the same stitch chain one single crochet in the same stitch so you have in this stitch right here you have three stitches so your increase and now you are going to chain one and in the next double crochet we are going to make one double stitch so for this we are going to make five unfinished double crochets four and five and now yarn over and close all of your loops chain one single crochet in your next double crochet chain one double stitch in the next double crochet one two three four and five and now close chain one single crochet in the next so when you are making your double stitch row you are on the wrong side of your work see this is the right side this is where you have these ridges from the front and back post double crochets and then you are also going to have your uh, bubbles on the right side of the work okay now work like this till you reach the middle of the shawl so you are going to end up here with a single crochet and then chain one and i'll meet you back here okay now i've already chained one in these two chain space from the previous row so the middle of the shawl you are going to make one double stitch three four and five close chain two and another double stitch in the same two chain space one two three four and five and now chain one and go to the next double crochet and make your single crochet and now repeat so chain one in the next make your double stitch two, three four and five chain one single crochet in the next double crochet chain one and repeat till the end of the row and i'll meet you back here to show you how to close your row okay now to end your row so you've made your last bubble you've already chained one now in your third chain so one two three you are going to make your increase so single crochet chain one and another single crochet in the same third chain now for row 13 and this is going to be um, 
your last row in the section so you have this section that you are going to repeat over and over again so row 13 it's a double crochet row so chain 3 turn your work two more double crochets in the same stitch one and two so this is your increase in your first single crochet from the previous row now you are going to make one double crochet in your one chain space so you are going to go between your single crochets and make your double crochet double crochet in your single crochet from the previous row so which is this one here double crochet in your one chain space so you are going to go between your single crochet and between your bubble stitch like so double crochet on top of the double stitch double crochet in your one chain space double crochet in your single crochet double crochet in your one chain space so you are going to go between your single crochet and your bubble stitch double crochet on top of the bubble stitch double crochet in your one chain space so right here now you are on the other side of the bubble stitch this is your one chain space bubble crochet on top of the single crochet bubble uh, um, double crochet <laughs> not double crochet also double crochet in between so in your one chain space and this is going to be your repeat and I'll meet you back here okay now I'm right here in the middle so you are going to double crochet in your single crochet double crochet in your one chain space double crochet on top of the bubble stitch and now in this two chain space you are going to make your increases so two double crochets chain two and two more double crochets in the same two chain space now you are going to work on the other side so double crochet on top of the bubble stitch double crochet in between double crochet on top of the single crochet in between and repeat till the end of the row okay I just want you to give a a quick look on how to finish your row 13 so I've worked one double crochet on top of my bubble stitch now double crochet in your one chain space and now you have here single crochet chain one single crochet so double crochet in your first single crochet double crochet in your one chain space and three double crochet in this very last stitch which is your last single crochet okay so this is it um, you are going to repeat all these rows so starting from a row so this is how you are going to count your rows see these little gaps here so this is your um, magic ring this one you are not going to count this one here so one two three four so you are going to repeat row four till row uh, 13 over and over again for a total so let me see how many sections that I've made so I'm just going to count my bubble um, my bubble so one two three 
four and five so i i've uh, made a total of five of this uh, section here and then i ended up with this um also bubble stitch fringes i don't know you can call it how you want so this border okay so work all of these rows and then meet me back to show you how to work your bubbles bubble stitch border okay so to give our shawl a little bit of a boho look So you are going to start right here as you see so you are going to chain six so one two three four five and six so turn your work now yarn over and go back in your third chain from the hook we are going to make a bubble stitch so pull up your loop high so that your bubble is going to be um, nice otherwise it's going to shrink so one two three four and five now close your bubble chain one now you are going to slip stitch one chain under this one so slip stitch now you are going to chain three one two three and skip one two three and in the next make one single crochet like so okay now i'm going to make another bubble with you so one two three four five and six yarn over and now try going on under two loops like so so one three four and five close chain one slip stitch one chain under so not here But here chain three skip one two three single crochet in the next see okay I'm going to work another bubble with you and for make your bubble go under two loops like so one three four and Five, eh? close, no. chain one, and slip stitch under, chain three, skip three, single crochet. Okay, so repeat all the way, all around um, the shawl, and let me show you how to work right here in the middle so you are going to um, single crochet in your two chain space from the previous row and then you are going to chain three make your bubble chain three single crochet in the same two chain space and then start working on the other side now i am going to leave you on your own I'm going to weave in all of my loose ends 
and I'm also going to block um, my shawl. I really um, recommend you blocking your shawl. The stitch are going to be more open and you're going to see your stitch, st stitches much better. And I'm going to shoot some uh, photos and show you how it looks like. Okay, so I'm now at the end of my tutorial. Thank you all for watching and for joining me today. And I'll see you soon with a new one. Bye-bye.